Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Yeah, that's right. It's been about 10 months now since I did a video. Well, guess what? We're setting in the new to become the new ham shack. And uh, you're looking at that great Akai reel-to-reel -reel tape player. It's not plugged in or anything. Basically, what I did today was uh, <clears throat> came into the shack and uh, well, what will become the shack and started unloading all the boxes of radio equipment, kind of getting them up on the shelf <clears throat> and just seeing if everything made the move. You know, I've already broken one of the uh, monitors that I've been using. Remember, I had that two monitor set up. Well, I dropped one on the floor and it's not coming on again. So I'm going to have to go get me another little monitor so I can still have two monitors up on the ham shack desk. But right now I'm working with one. So I wanted to kind of show you today <clears throat> what the shack looks like before it's ever put together. You know, the stuff is just up on a shelf and that's it. And it's just no organization to it whatsoever. But I thought you all would enjoy seeing the <clears throat> mishmash of equipment in no particular order. Okay, so I'm going to grab this webcam and we're going to walk around a little bit and uh, I'm going to get you dizzy. Okay, don't write me about it. I'm doing it on purpose. All right, <clears throat> so let me pick this webcam up. We'll just swing it around here kind of show you. Of course, it used to be a tool shed, the previous owner, you know, and it's very nicely built. I mean, it was hand built. This is not one of those Home Depot specials, you know. This was purposely built and had this big shelf on it all the way around. You can kind of look at some of the equipment I just put up on the shelf. There's the uh, flex radio right there. Tuner. There's my amp. There's the rotor controller and uh, the old uh, SB, uh, uh, what the heck was that? Uh, the Model S380B right there from about 1949. A couple of my handy talkies. And there's the Akai and, you know, some speakers and things like that. So this is going to become the, the ham shack right here. It's a mess right now. So when you see it finished, you'll be amazed. You know, I'm going to show you what it looks like after we just unpacked. And if you look around, see we look in this box here, all kinds of cables and switches. There's the uh, microphone boom and the microphone and the other microphone. And uh, there's the rug that's going to be on the floor. There's a bunch of cables just hanging. There's the soldering station over there. Just sitting there and more boxes down here. But basically, I did get all of the ham radio equipment out. So let's kind of walk outside. I'll give you a little view. Little view. I can't go very far, but you know, it's attached to a very nice patio. All right, I got a nice patio out here, nice yard out behind there. And again, purposely built. Uh, so I'm probably going to come in here. Let me get you back up here where you can see me talking. Get you, get you positioned up here for a minute. All right. I'm probably going to come in, uh, after I get the equipment all set up and everything and have them, uh, insulate the walls, put a little air conditioning unit in one of the windows. I'm going to try to do a pass through through this window up here. That's one of those MFJ uh, cable pass-throughs. I'm going to try to do it vertically in this small window over here. We'll see how that works. You all will get to see it. We've already got up some antennas. Uh, we did put up the uh, uh, bracket, you know, that goes across the uh, gable, one of those gable mount brackets, and uh, about a I think it's like an eight foot mast on it. And we attached the Comet GP9 to that and the long wire uh, box uh, to that mast below the Comet. And then we ran that wire 
over the top of the uh, ham shack, up into a tree and over a branch and back, headed back down. I'll have a video later where I'm going to extend that. What's well, it's about 36 foot right now, long wire. We're going to extend that thing to about 88 feet. All right. We extend it out to about 88 feet. So uh, we've got the ground rods in already. Got a ground right down, right down here below this window. And we've already grounded the. Uh, and again, I'll do a video on this and just want to tell you about it today. We've already grounded the mast and the box, the long wire box, to the ground rod here. We have run grounding cable from this ground rod right over to the house ground, which can't be more than six feet away. So uh, it was very easy to attach the shack ground to the house ground. It's only about six feet over in this direction. So that's all done. Uh, we've wired the shack already. Uh, that's why we didn't unpack the boxes until it was wired up. Uh, we've wired with uh, two circuits, two separate circuits for 110 and a separate 220 circuit for the amplifier. Okay. And we have a 50 amp uh, breaker uh, attached to this stuff. Yeah. So <clears throat> we're in pretty good shape now. We've got plugs. Uh, actually, have three plugs, two circuits uh, for 110, and, and one plug for 220. Later, we'll show you all that. I'll try to get some close ups of it, show you how, how we wired it. We did wire it through. You know, we drilled through the uh, two by fours, ran uh, number 10 <clears throat> uh, uh, through the uh, number 10 wire through the uh, beams and uh, into brand new uh, utility pr plugs, you know, that we bought from Home Depot. So that should be all ready to go. And now I just have to get in here for a few days and do some organization. So with that said, I've talked long enough. I'm back in business, sort of, and uh, we'll have some more videos coming shortly. But I, I wanted to do one just to let you know how we're proceeding with the new ham shack. So as I usually say, <coughs> keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. It's up there, and we're going to do some astronomy videos, too, in the future. So y'all be good. 73 and clear skies. See y'all later.